What's up crew, Chaz with Side Hustle Pros and in today's video, I get to show you my little desk setup that I just got. Really excited for this. I have been working off of my 2012 MacBook Pro for the last, I don't even know, three years. I've never once touched a dual screen monitor before. <laughs> So I'm excited, it's the end of the year, we need a few extra tax write-offs, and I figure, you know what, I would love to have a legit desk set up with dual monitors that I can just plug my computer into and start working more efficiently. So of course, went to Amazon, ordered a bunch of stuff here, including a desk for 89 bucks, which I'm super excited to set this thing up. Not excited for the putting together part, of course, but excited for what it's gonna look like afterwards. Got my dual monitors in there, HDMI adapter, got a keyboard, got a mouse, uh, basically just a super basic setup. So this video is gonna be pretty short and simple. I'll just show you exactly what I got. The monitors I got are Scepter's 24 inch, just regular flat. I will probably be upgrading down the road to 32 inch curved, um, but in the beginning you don't need anything fancy. So in order to get this corner cleared off in the office, we had to get rid of some boxes, which I'll show you right now. We've had that dreaded box pile for a while and I only kept that because we use that for our shipping for eBay every single day. So what we did was we broke down all the boxes. It's absolutely a mess in here because I am like hardcore deep cleaning right now, but I got all the boxes broken down over there. I have a box organizer with slots on its way tomorrow. So once that is all done, the office is deep clean, my desk is set up. I'm gonna do a full video tour of the office, everything that we do, our workflows, and just show you how I'm trying to increase efficiency moving into the next year. At the time of the video, we are at the end of December 2018, so I'm just trying to really set this place up physically to be efficient to kick off 2019 with just a smooth workflow for all the little businesses that we do. So not only did I get the actual computer desk, but we also have our shipping station for Amazon FBA stuff is set up over on the other table. And I use a Dymo 450 and Dymo 4XL and it has its own shipping laptop over there. The pain in the butt part has been, we constantly have to maneuver and move all of that stuff based on what we need the table for. Sometimes Trista needs the table for when she uses her photo booth for eBay and clothing. So we constantly are struggling moving all this crap around. So I figured I'm gonna try to be more efficient with that as well. So on top of the computer stuff, we got this guy right here, which is a portable desk stand. So really excited to put this together as well. I figure I'll just toss that inside the video since it's all kind of based around uh, workstations to be more efficient. So now for the fun part of opening these up and putting them together. Why does it always have to be so many pieces? This isn't even the desk. This is just a rolling cart. Not bad. It's amazing how many little tiny pieces make something so simple. So let's get all the stuff on and see how it works out. All right, this thing is going to work out perfect. I am gonna customize this just a little bit. I use both the Dymo 450 and 4XL so I don't have to swap labels out. I'm gonna take a little piece of plywood that's wider and I'm just gonna screw that right onto there so it's uh, not hanging on the edge so much. But if you're gonna use just one printer, perfect size. Love the little storage compartment down there so I could store all my extra labels. No more trying to dig around in boxes trying to find those. And another customization I'm gonna make is I would love to put just a little screw in the side here so I can hang my tape as well as my scanner for Amazon FBA. I would love a little holster or something I could put on the side there. So far so good. This one's got a thumbs up for me. And this is the brand Technimobile, mobile laptop cart with storage. This was 57 bucks. Quick side note, another reason why I got this is when we are usually doing shipments, if we have a lot of stuff spread out throughout the warehouse that we're checking in for Amazon, it's a pain in the butt to have to go, even with the wireless, I would have to walk over, scan something, come back to the Dymo, get the label, go put it on. So this way I'm able to go and bring this around with me. Now that's done, desk time. That doesn't look too bad. Let's go. First impressions, not too bad. Keep in mind, this only did cost $89, so you're gonna get $89 quality, but I'm loving the shape of it, I'm loving the color, 
and I think it's gonna hold up just fine. We'll see. All right, now that that is done, I think I like this position. I was contemplating if I should keep it this way facing out to the office or if I should have it up against the wall. I don't know. I'll probably switch around a couple times, but for now, that's what we're gonna do. Now let's go ahead and open up the other goodies. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been running our entire business for several years just from this right here, 15 inch MacBook Pro 2012. Um, it does have overheating problems, which is why I should have been using this earlier, but I've got a cooling pad here. This one is a Havoc model, and you guys can find all the links to the direct products in the description below especially because I've never actually used dual monitors before. My computer is gonna be using extra processing power, so I actually need to be able to cool this thing off just a little bit. It's like the one thing I did not upgrade that I probably should have upgraded was my actual computer. But for now, it'll get by. Next up is a Matthias wireless aluminum keyboard, which I'm excited about. Read a lot of great reviews on this one, so we're gonna be able to use this. So we're gonna bust this out and test it out, see how it works. Goodies! We have a few accessories. HDMI cables, definitely gonna be a must. And of course, after I was browsing around on Amazon for like an hour looking at different computer related things, I got tagged in an ad, so I had to jump on these, which are back lights. I'm gonna be able to attach these to the back of the monitors and they'll shine whatever color that I choose. Now, I will say with my desk facing like this, the back of my monitors are facing out. Not gonna look that great, but if I do decide to put my desk up against the wall, it's gonna look cool. Now, having an older Mac, I do not actually have an HDMI output on my computer. So I got this USB to dual HDMI port, which I'm gonna be able to just plug into my computer via the USB, and both my HDMI cords will go out to my monitors. Last, but certainly not least, is going to be the actual monitors. I will say I almost, almost was gonna jump into fancy to begin with, but I decided to keep it very simple as my first legit desk workstation setup. So I did not go with curved or very large monitors. I just got 24 inch regular flat screens. And I'll show you which brand that I ended up going with. I do have the second one here. So I ended up going with the Scepter 24 inch dual screen monitors. I did forget to order a mount. So I do have a mount that is on its way. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow, but a mount is simply just a piece of metal that will attach to the end of your desk. And has two mounts that you slide these onto. So it brings them up to eye level. So I'm not looking down as much towards the screen. But until then, these have stands and they will do perfectly fine for the next 24 hours. These, I was actually shocked on the price. Again, I've never had dual monitors, so I didn't know how much an actual computer monitor cost. So I went on Amazon, started doing some browsing. These had fantastic reviews, 24 inches. And at 24 inches, these were only $99 each. So for 198 bucks, you get yourself two high quality screens. Again, they're not fancy, they're not curved, they're not 32 inch. I'll be able to upgrade to that stuff later. But for now, a basic setup. I'm super happy with this, and now I get to do the fun part, which is get it all connected, power on, and see how it works. And I was just gonna cut the video short right there, but I figure, you know what, I'm already here. Let's just do little mini unboxing videos for you guys as well. I will say that I'm not doing in-depth reviews because obviously I haven't used this stuff yet, but what I will do is use it for, I don't know, 30 days, see how I like the whole setup, and then I'll do a thorough review on each product. But for now, let's just get these things open and get going. And actually, now that I'm kind of working on the desk, this isn't too bad. There was little adjusters on the bottom of the legs, which you can adjust the height, and it caused a lot more firmness in the actual stability of this thing so it's not wobbly like it was again it was 89 bucks it's on the small side but to start with this is going to work out great until i can get an actual standing desk all right so you can see what it looks like with just the stand i'm definitely happy i'm getting a mount coming in the next couple days because this is not at eye level with me as you guys can see so looking down like that is a constant strain on the neck. So that's why it's nice to get a mount 
to where it's gonna attach these up in the air. But for a basic 24 inch monitor, upgrading from this, I would say I'm definitely gonna be a happy camper once this is all done. And I did just realize something, which is nice. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but it's kind of at a slant. And for a minute I thought, crap, I hope it's not slanted like that permanently. So I grabbed onto it and it does tilt. So that's super convenient to have. All right, screens I'm excited about. Now I've just got to unbox HDMI converter and figure out how I'm gonna get all this stuff set up. So I've never actually set up dual monitors before. I know there's a setting on my Mac. I have to change the display layout. So I'm just gonna plug everything in and see what happens. All right, so cooling pad is now plugged in. Should be able to switch this on. All right, it works. Screens are plugged in, so let's get these set up. I will say this desk could definitely be longer because I've also got to have room for my keyboard and my mouse on here as well. But I'm thinking once I get the mount, these are going to be back a little bit further and up, so they're not going to be in the way as much. Your screens are set up. Now you can see what I mean by the desk. If it was a little bit wider and just a tad bit longer, that would have been perfect, but we'll make it work for now. All right, so we've got HDMIs here, which need to be plugged in. And plan B, this desk, after using it for a couple days, is too skinny. I need something a little bit wider. Look, it's gold. gold. It is gold. Good job, buddy. I'm going to help helper here. So at Goodwill this morning, I happened to find an Ikea desk for $10. For $10. $10. $10. And this is, I looked up this exact model. It's in decent shape. And it's really sturdy. It's five inches Ooh. wider, which is what I need. And on the IKEA website, that was 179 bucks. So not too shabby. Not too shabby, right? No. Let me hear it. Not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna swap this for that, get everything set up. I'll show you guys the final product. And here's the final product. After a few days and a few hiccups and turning out my adapter that I bought did not work with Mac. Here's the final product and here's the workarounds I had to make. So come with me over here. We have got the new setup. It is officially done, uh, not 100%. I wanna get some of my Funko shelves and all my fun stuff to make my office vibe. I'm gonna put a huge whiteboard up on this wall. It's just gonna be really, really solid setup for what I need to be productive in 2019. So here is the official setup. As you guys can see, number one, the desk was swapped out. I showed you guys that was 10 bucks at Goodwill. This is an Ikea desk. It is adjustable manually, but I just put it at what is gonna be nice for a sitting height for me. And I'm also ordering a little desk top that can come up to a stand-up desk. But for now, this is gonna be my workable setup for the next month or so. Let me point out the desk I ordered that I showed you putting together was a solid piece of desk for 89 bucks, but it was not wide enough for what I wanted. The width, this is five inches wider. So this for me is gonna work out better. And it was only 10 bucks at Goodwill, so I'm happy with it. So let me show you exactly what I did for my setup here. Dual monitors, obviously, you guys saw the whole unboxing, the Scepter monitors, 24 inch. They did fine on the stand, but I did end up getting this guy for about 24, 25 bucks, just a regular desktop stand. Let me show you the back here. It's just got these two arms that come out. Super heavy duty. That's a heavy weighted base. So these are not going to be tip over. You can adjust these up down. You can maneuver them around however you want to do for your setup. So you can order whatever kind that you want. This one is the one that sits on the desk, but they do make clamp ones that sit on the back, which are probably a little bit more sturdy, but for 25 bucks, that's going to do for now. As you guys can see, the monitors are now completely working. All you have to do, again, I'm using a Mac, which is a pain in the butt to do this kind of stuff with. So if you have a Mac and you're looking to set this up, your final thing is gonna be system preferences. You're gonna to go to displays. Then from here, you can change your arrangement on your windows and how they're set up. And again, I've never played around dual monitors before, so it's blowing my mind right now. And I know I'm so behind on this that I can just maneuver my mouse over and it just keeps going all the way over it just acts like one giant screen you can just drag and drop your windows over to so if i take this you just drag and drop it over to whatever window that you want and you just snap it into whatever place that you want and you can just work on each window so it's nice to be able to have something like the amazon dashboard is open right now i've got my facebook open you can be running youtube videos and just be more productive with whatever projects you're working on Especially I'm excited for sourcing with this, especially looking through wholesale lists because my current setup, I'm constantly swapping back and forth between tabs. 
And if you guys are like me, you usually have about 20 tabs open at one time. So now I can actually just be able to look at a wholesale list and then be able to do my Amazon checking here. So it's gonna be really nice. Or if I'm scouring Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and then trying to check eBay comps, I can have eBay open on one and I can have my ads open on the other one. So let me show you the cord situation, PS. I know people are probably looking at this like, why does he have 100 bucks on his table? I literally five minutes ago had somebody show up at the office and I did a local deal where I sold a massage table for 100 bucks. I paid 20 bucks for it, so that's an easy $80 profit. Anyways, here's the setup that I did for my Mac, and I know this is gonna be different for everybody. This is just what I did for now. I did find one other adapter which is gonna minimize one of these cords, because right now there's two screens, right? Two HDMI cables, and we have to treat them separately. Now this would have been easy if I have a newer Mac which has what's called a USB-C, which is a specific type of port. I have the old school 2012, so I have a Thunderbolt. I don't have an HDMI on here. So one of my screens is going from Thunderbolt or your mini display port to HDMI, and that goes directly to one of the screens. And then the other one that I got is by J5 Create. This one goes from USB to HDMI, and that operates the second screen. And this is just a USB extension, so it's got four USB plugins since I only have two of them on there, so that's just extra USB ports. So those are my two cords I ended up using. One is Thunderbolt to HDMI, one is USB to HDMI. Now, like I said, I do have one more cord I'm gonna try out. It's by J5 Create, and it goes from USB to dual HDMI, so I can have one cord to operate both monitors. Hopefully, I'll update you guys in the next vlog if that ends up working out. And the last two pieces of equipment that you guys did not get to see too much of earlier, I just got these unboxed. This actually just got delivered. This guy is a wireless Matthias aluminum keyboard. That is actual aluminum. Pretty heavy duty for being just a little keyboard. The keys are extremely soft to use, so I am actually excited to be able to use this. The keyboard on my Mac, I mean, it's a 2012, it's six years old. It's definitely starting to wear out, and I'm gonna be upgrading this guy as my next project, so everything's gonna be maxed out. If you guys don't know, as far as MacBook Pros, 2012 was the last year that things are not soldered to the board. So you're able to upgrade anything inside of here. So I'm gonna be upgrading this as my next project. And then next up, after doing a bunch of research, everyone was saying this is the mouse to get. So it's got all these little fancy doodads. Do you need something like this? No, I just wanted to be able to have some extra tax write-offs. So it's got a little scroll wheel on the side. There's a hidden button down here as well. I will say the grip on this thing is phenomenal. It's got that nice wide grip and this rest pad for your thumb is awesome. Now again, keep in mind, I'm upgrading from just using this. No external mouse. I've just been using my trackpad for over two years. That's what I've been using. So this is an awesome upgrade for me right now. And that guy is the Logitech MX Master 2S. And last two pieces of equipment, I've been using these for a while. They're not new, but just figure I'd point them out here. Blue Yeti mic is what I always use, especially when I do my YouTube lives, anything that's, po I'm gonna be starting a podcast as well. So everything's done on the Blue Yeti. And the webcam, if any of you caught my vlog that had a outdoor birthday party and Trista gave me a gift that I freaked out about, it was the Logitech Brio, which is a really high quality webcam. So I've been loving that. So there you go, overview of the current desk setup. Again, I'm gonna build out shelves and put on my Funko Pops, get my whole basically company whiteboard, all my projects, my videos, everything's gonna go up there. So there you have it folks, that is my current workstation setup, my personal upgrade, my little end of year gift to myself first and foremost you do not need a dual monitor setup you do not need a fancy keyboard or a fancy mouse you don't need anything but just your regular computer but if you're going to be getting upgrades done this is what I'm personally doing so if you want to see anything that was mentioned in this video go to sidehustleprosgear.com or check out the link below this goes to our Amazon affiliate storefront so if you do purchase anything through there like one of these items it does give us a small commission kickback which we appreciate but aside from that, stay tuned. 2019 starts tomorrow. I'm pumped to produce more content for you guys. Help you to become more efficient in your business and take it to the next level to build your time freedom. This has been Chaz with Side Hustle Pros. I'll see you later.